If you're cruising out of the Bahamas this summer, I bet you're looking for a place to stay. That's right, and we just spent seven days in the Bahamas exploring some of the coolest hotels in the area, and uh, we're gonna show you guys some tips. Also, if you couldn't tell already, this video is sponsored by Every Plate. Use code Griff and Alyssa2 to receive $1.99 per meal, and you can get 20% off your next two boxes. Woo Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking! So if you're looking towards the British Colonial Hilton, which is actually one of the check-ins for Royal Caribbean, you're gonna want to keep in mind that they're not fully staffed right now. I assume once cruisers return, they'll be back up and running full speed, but don't be surprised with limited menu options certain amenities being unavailable, but the pros are they do have beachfront access, great food, and the rates as of now are decent. Now for the Courtyard Marriott, there is one con that we want you to be aware of, and that is that it's on the opposite side of the street as everything else. So that means you need to cross the street in order to get anywhere. There aren't really any traditional crosswalks. Um, there are no stoplights, stop signs, so getting across is definitely a challenge. So if you have kids, luggage, it's just something that you need to be aware of. They do have taxis available right outside, um, but if you think you're gonna walk all the way to the cruise port, it might be a challenge. Now on to some of the pros. They do have spacious rooms. They have great breakfast sandwiches. It is in walking distance of the Hilton and the cruise port. As I mentioned, there's taxi service available as soon as you walk outside, and it is very close to the fish fry. Which brings us to Atlantis. Now, the cons that I thought about for Atlantis is that it's pretty far from the Hilton and the cruise port. About a, I wanna say a 20 minute taxi ride. It'll cost you maybe 35, 40 bucks just to get there. But the pros are excellent food options. There's so many food options, so good. Also, water slides. So if you're bringing your kids, you want like a little bit of pre-cruise day fun, can't go wrong with water slides, tons of pools. But if you want to do something with your significant other, there's also olives, there's a steakhouse, they have sushi, really good fancy dates. Like Atlantis is really good and not a bad option at all. And small taxi hack, I mean, if you want to take the water shuttle for like $4 a person, that's not a bad deal either. So you can check that too. And lastly, it brings us to Margaritaville. Now, the only con I can really think of is that the second building, which is the beach resort, isn't open yet. But they should be open by the end of summer. Now on to the pros. Excellent drinks and sushi. I'm not even kidding. This was some of the best sushi that we've ever had. And considering Margarita is in the name of Margaritaville, they definitely know how to make them. The experience is super clean, fun, and the staff is really attentive to your needs. It's right by the cruise port and in walking distance to the Hilton, so check-in is super easy. Literally like less than 500 meters or a quarter of a mile. And the rooms are super gorgeous, brand new. They even have full-size kitchens in a lot of them. So if you're staying for a while or if you have a large family and you wanna cook, you can do it right there in your room. And speaking of dinners, Every Plate has some of the most customizable dinners on the face of this planet. Seriously, Every Plate is so dang good. It's the perfect meal service right after your cruise because who wants to go grocery shopping right after vacation? Uh, not me. And Every Plate is delivered right to your door, so you don't even have to leave the house. It's wonderful. This is really good. What do you think so far? Um, it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, you crushed it. I mean, I did okay for not cooking very often. Yeah. Um, I do want to point out also that we got the regular potatoes, but if you wanted sweet potatoes instead, you could have done that. <laughs> and um, I think that would have been a great addition. So guys, that kind of concludes this video. If you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you care, please share. And we'll see you in paradise. <laughs> <Peace>. Bye. <laughs> Cotter, what she's eating. <laughs>